Good evening, everybody. All right. Um, for those who this is your first time at Mass, welcome. Um, in your pews, if you're comfortable, you don't have to wear your mask. But if you want to wear the mask, that's okay. So if you want to take them off, it's fine. Um, whenever you are walking in the church, you need to have your mask. So when you come to communion, mask on or shield down. If you have bodice shield, um, you will say amen with your mask still on. And then you'll take a couple steps out of the way and either lift or lower and consume the communion. Mask back on, back to your pew. Okay? When you go back from communion, remember, if you're coming down this aisle, nobody's in their normal seats, so this aisle goes, you guys could go back like this, you guys go back like that, you go, you go back that way, and you guys go back that way. But maintain six feet of separation, at least from other families, okay? We do, I do want to keep, have you keep Father Sunoj Thomas in your prayers from St. Catherine's. He has been diagnosed with COVID. Um, so please keep him in your prayers. St. Catherine's masses have been canceled for 14 days as he self-quarantines. Um, so remember, it is affecting. Our numbers here are growing um, in Cass County. So wear those masks, all right? Birthdays, do we have any birthdays? Anniversaries? Any at home? <laughs> happy birthday and happy anniversary. Mask up. Anniversary. Seven. On the seventh. No, July seventh. Nineteen years. Nineteen years, July seventh. Congratulations. Thank you. What? Cecilia. Celia, you have a birthday? The 11th. On July 11th. What is today? July 4th? That's next Sunday. We can...
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with all you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Actually, with you all. <laughs> with all you. <laughs> Um, I also forgot to say happy Independence Day, so happy Independence Day. May everybody have a ha happy and safe holiday. And if you wash your kids' hands with hand sanitizer, not soap, be very, very cautious because that hand sanitizer is very loaded in alcohol and it is very highly flammable. So be cautious with your kids and the fireworks and you dads too. The truths of the kingdom of God are revealed to the humble, so let us turn to the Lord and ask him to strip away the pride and vanity that clouds our vision so that we might draw closer to him. Lord Jesus, you are the way and the truth and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you desire to give us rest. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the basement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, 
meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In the first reading, we hear from the prophet Isaiah during the Babylonian captivity when they're in exile. And he's telling them and giving them hope about when the kingdom of God will come, when the Messiah will come riding very humbly and very meekly on a small colt into Jerusalem. And that will signify the beginning of the peace on earth, the kingdom of God, because God being present here on earth with us. And so Jesus is talking to his disciples. You know, they'd just gone out on mission, um, and we've heard the instructions for three weeks. Now we, tell, we hear Jesus telling them that I am very meek and very humble at heart. Being very meek can have some bad connotations in our world, you know, when we think of meek, we think somebody is being kind of a pushover. But being meek is being very gentle. Being meek is being very kind, not worried about a lot of things. Being meek is allowing life to happen without having the need to control it. The opposite of being meek is being overbearing. Being overbearing means we're kind of like a bully. An overbearer would be classified kind of as a bully because our way is the only way. As my, well, as some parents used to say to their kid, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> I'm sure we've all heard that. But overbearing people are very highly opinionated people, and they're not open to hearing any other opinions. Overbearing people have a really hard time forgiving other people. Overbearing people tend to control the conversation all the time and don't care about your contribution to the conversation. That's not our savior. Our savior is very meek and humble at heart. He is kind. He does forgive. He doesn't control everything from heaven. He put it in motion and he gave instructions to all his disciples and all of us who wish to be disciples, the path to heaven. And our burden is not heavy. At times it may appear heavy when things aren't going our way. But the path to heaven is not overburdensome. All we have to do is love God with our whole being, love our neighbor as ourself, forgive one another, be humble in your life. Don't feel like you have to be right all the time. Actually listen to other people's opinions, whether you agree with them or not. Because in today's world, you're not really going to change anybody's opinion anyway. So if we do those things, 
then our burden is lightened. We make our burden a lot more heavy. Jesus says, my yoke is easy. Farmers know that that yoke means that contraption that puts the cattle together so that they could work together to plow the fields back before we had these big, huge tractors. Because two oxen or two cows can do twice the work as one, and it's not so hard on either one of them. We, Jesus, is our yoke. And by working together, we can build, continue this kingdom of God. But when we work just on our own all the time, we don't accomplish all that much. We can still accomplish things, but just think how much more we could do together. And that's what Jesus is trying to tell us. We're all in this together, this building of the kingdom of God. So when our burdens do get a little bit heavier, say we're facing a disease or death, we have the support of our family and our faith community. And that's what helps us, props us up when we need propped up. And we prop one another when they need propped up. So think about in your life, how humble are you? How meek can you be? If you are overbearing, how can you stymie that a little bit? M80s should be illegal in <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> So think about how can I be just a little bit more humble this week? How can I be a little bit more meek? The more we practice that, the lighter that burden is. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. With trust, let us bring our prayers before our God, who is meek and humble of heart. For leaders and ministers within the church, may they pattern their lives after the example of the master who served with humility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and citizens of our nation, as we celebrate Independence Day, may we work together to build a just society. 
where all are valued and treated with dignity and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are weary in body, mind, or spirit, may they find in Christ the rest they long for, and in Christ's disciples the assistance they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who bear the yoke of illness or the burden of pain, may they receive relief and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and local commun community, may we go forth to serve the Lord in that gentleness of heart that we learn from Christ, whose yoke is easy and whose burden is light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead raise them up and give them eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, who champions the lowly and lifts up all who are bowed down, you sent your son Jesus to teach us the way of humility. Hear our prayers that in following him, we may give rest to the weary and build up this kingdom of God. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give thanks as in exaltation we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace.
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would ask you all, wherever you're seated, to please put your kneelers on the floor so our cleaners know where to clean. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your 
with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.